the way motion curves are edited in, in Messiah can sometimes be a little counterintuitive. So let me try and demystify it a little bit. Um, what logically happens when you have a keyframe selected, the point on the curve will be highlighted yellow. And so at any time, you can click any point, and that is the keyframe that shows up in the motion uh, block here. And you can see all of the uh, information about that keyframe. Key 3, frame 17, and these are the values that were entered in. Now, you do have the capacity to move more than one keyframe at a time, and that is a secondary selection. A secondary selection is when you left click, drag, and let go. So here, this keyframe is selected yellow, and these two are secondary selections. So if I left click drag, you can see that the two secondary selections will also move. Right click drag and they'll move temporarily. But if I click off of the yellow one and onto one of the blue ones, you'll note that the yellow one is no longer selected because it was no longer not part of that secondary selection. So that can get a little bit confusing. Left clicking off of nothing if you have two secondary selection and one primary selection and you click off of it either um, by right clicking on nothing which will deselect um, your secondary selection or by left clicking on another keyframe you'll deselect your secondary selection but if you um, have a secondary selection and you click on it, you do not lose uh, that secondary selection. So that's uh, a little bit confusing and it's probably not the best way to uh, edit mass amounts of keyframes. Um, the better way is to use uh, more precision control in the edit tab or use the dope sheet editor. Where I spend most of my time manipulating the uh, temporal position of keyframes is here in this little mini dope sheet editor up the top. And what that allows you to do is if you have a whole body, a whole rig character, and you have um, all items here selected, so all the items here on the list, or you can use um, group, and you can pick a group. So if you're keyframing a, um, a complex hand, you can pick the hand group and when you make a keyframe it makes a keyframe for all the items just on the hand and so when you do that you want to be able to pick um, all items or the group and be able to edit the timing of the positions of the hand um, with this mini dope sheet editor and how that works is um, if you left click you can select a an item left click drag will move it temporarily if you left click drag select you can select a bunch of items and then left click dragging on uh, on those items will move them temporarily and you can add to the selection or subtract from the selection just by uh, left click dragging the, the box and then um, if you want to deselect just one particular item, you shift click. And if you want to add that again, you shift click again. Um, and that's about it. It's pretty, I mean, it's, it's weird, it's different, but uh, you get used to it pretty quick.